Hello, YouTube. My neighbor wanted me to build him a bench swing, copy the one he had out there in his backyard. And uh, so I said, okay, I'll try to do that. You bring the lumber, you get the wood, and I'll try to make you one. And uh, so I went over and took some pictures of it and some measurements and made a couple of templates and uh, brought it back over there. After he brought me some wood, come to find out this is a little more complicated than I thought. But uh, after a couple of tries there, I finally figured out what was going on. And uh, he brought some wood from Oklahoma up there, some cedar, some pretty good cedar pieces. And uh, he bought the first batch. He wanted two of these swings and uh, for his place up there in Oklahoma at their lake place they got. And so they brought, he bought the wood and I started uh, cutting the wood up. It's a pretty good batch of wood. So there's two, two places in here where you can see the stack of wood will grow and then it'll diminish and start over again. Because there were there was two two benches being made. They're pretty good sized pieces of wood, uh, red cedar, and that's a lap joint that's on the back of those benches there that um, that you got to put together. And then of course you got to uh, use your bandsaw or whatever you got there. I guess the jigsaw work to put that uh, the sculpture sculpting into the the back of it. There's a bunch of the sawdust. I filled the whole garage full of sawdust. That's after I cleaned it up right there. And uh, put it all in my flower beds out there. And uh, like I say, there's pretty good pieces of wood there. After I figured out, you got to get it all squared up before you try to put the uh, put the curve on it. You want it, you want it, or, or put those uh, lap joints in it. You need it squared up. So there you are with the pieces already on there. And there's the back of one of them. And uh, got me a, the table there where I could uh, use that table for jigging it up. I didn't show that part of it. There really wasn't nothing to it, though. Just cut all the pieces the same length and drill all the holes. I didn't show that part either. I had a jig set up for drilling the holes in those slats so they'd all be right in the right place and then countersink them all so you don't split them because that cedar will split on you. And then drill the holes for... Uh, the chain to come through.